Hello guys, welcome in this new video. Is it possible to exchange the network coverage by using two repeaters on the same frequency, like this? Is it a good or a bad idea? I will show you just now. Before, a small word about the learning, the online course, online learning. I'm finishing the online course about basic privacy. How does it work? Motorola basic privacy, iTera basic privacy, iCom Scrambler, and the uh, next edge NXDN scrambler, how does it work? This will be explained in a PED feature, a PED online course, online training. I'm finishing it, so I don't know when you are looking this video if the um, if the the learning will be finished before or after have been have uh, published this video, but currently I'm finishing it and I will make a specific video on this subject to present the online course. Okay, let's go back to the main, uh, the main problem, the main uh, issue, uh, which I received. This is a question uh, which I received on the below one of my video and one of my subscribers asked me this question. Is it possible to extend the coverage by using the same frequency on both repeaters? I will show you, I will reply to this, um, this, uh, this question just now, but before, credits. Okay, can we extend the coverage of a network by using two repeaters on the same frequency? The answer is yes and no. It depends. So, I will show you three use cases. Each use case has some advantage and some disadvantage. Case, use case number one, you are using two repeaters out of range of each other's, it's possible, but you will have a zone, an area zone, a blank area zone with you, you where you will know you won't be able to communicate properly with your repeater. So in this case, you have the repeater one and the repeater two. Both repeater cannot interference themselves. They have all these area, area number one, area number two, and you will be able to communicate, to talk to each other when you are on the coverage area of the repeater one or on the repeater two, not here. In this case, you can use the same frequency per T ax R ax with no problem. No possible interference between both because uh, they are out of range and you can have simultaneous transmission of the two repeaters uh, and transmission is possible on both repeaters at the same time. First case. Now, second case, the two repeaters are within the range of each other, but only one transmitting, only one repeater, sorry, is transmitting at a time. This case, the coverage area is shared there is a small piece of coverage area shared between two repeaters, but only one repeater is talking at a time. With this solution, this use case, you can use the same frequency pair, T aux R aux. There is no possible interference because the other's repeater is, uh, is off, is no transmitter, is no transmitting. The disadvantage is the coverage is limited, limited to one coverage, repeater one or repeater two. You cannot have an extended coverage. And uh, in this case, you just have to select the correct repeater by using its own color code. Or if it's a digital repeater, if it's an analog repeater, you can also use CTCSS or DCS code to select the proper repeater. This is the 
two first use case and now use case number three. The two relays are within the range of each other but they are transmit simultaneously on the same frequency. This use case. The main issue of this use case is here. There is an area, an, an interference zone. If you are located with your terminal here, no, no problem, no interference. Here, no interference, but if you are located between both repeaters, approximately here, you will have some interference zone and the terminal will get different signal from two repeaters. In this use case, same frequency pair is used for TX and RX. You will have a simultaneous transmission on, of the two repeater at the same time. You will have an extended coverage, but there is the presence of an interference zone, an area where you will have some interference. And in this zone, you will have different signals level and different phase shift sig signal. The, the signal got and received by the terminal will be phase shifted between the first and the second repeater. I will explain you here how is uh, what is the, the phase shift problem. This solution, I don't recommend it, but technically it can work. There is a risk of one or more interference due to this interference zone. You will get a fast shifted signal because both signals don't will won't be arrived at the same time in this zone to the antenna terminals. But it works technically it can work because the city of Montreal in the Canada did it in P25. So they use repeaters in P25 in simulcast on the same frequency with different repeater to cover all the area of the Montreal city. This for me, to decode properly this zone and the, the signal, it, requir it, it requires some processing algorithm to extract the correct signal. Alternatively, you can make also antenna diversity. Antenna diversity is using two, uh, two antenna. You will get two signal in fast shifted with noise each, each of those. And with, by using an algorithm, you will mix all signal, extract and eliminate the noise and get only the correct signal to decode. This is antenna diversity. It requires two antenna, but I don't know if it's possible with a DMR or P25 or PMR terminal in general, because generally there is only one antenna. Personally, I don't recommend it. Now, why I don't recommend it? Because in this interference zone, the terminal will get some different signal, phase shifted signal. What is a phase shifted signal? Let's suppose the two repeaters here are exactly are synchronized, are time synchronized, and they transmit exactly the same signal at the same time, the same uh, part of frame, and they are totally synchronized. In practical, it's never the, the case, but let's suppose it is the case. S transmitter will both send signal. There is a propagation delay, and according to where you are here on this area, you will get one signal before others. The other signal will have a propagation delay more important, so it will have a delay and you will receive after the first. So this is why you will get two signal with, in practical, the, the level of two signal will, may varies and will varies, but your, uh, your terminal will get both signal and won't be able to decode properly the good signal. It's difficult for the terminal to, to say which signal should I take. Uh, this is why I don't recommend this, uh, this solution, but technically it can work. This phase shift signal is more problematic in digital signal because, for example, in DMR you're using 4 FSK modulation, it's more problematic 
than in analog. In analog, if you use two repeaters at the same time, you will hear a noise. It will be um, a little bit uh, disagreeable. And it won't be uh, comfortable to hear, but you will be able to hear properly. In digital, due to the desynchronization of the, the signal, the fast shift, keying, uh, decoding, uh, decoder, you, you may be don't be able to decode properly the signal due to propagation delay, due to level higher. And this is why I don't recommend these solutions. Um, I have finished now. We are at the conclusion. Uh, I don't have uh, some uh, thing to say. Extending the range of your network by doing and by using simulcast multi-repeaters on the same frequency it is possible, but not recommended. But the, the city of Montreal in Canada do it, so if it do it, it's ne technically possible. But there is the problem of interference, which, which I talked before. Uh, don't recommend it, but if you want to, to try it on your network, you can try it. Don't hesitate to make some tests. Now we are at the end of the video, the final word, just thanks for watching and stay tuned, some other video will come shorter and quickly. Bye bye!